let's chat on tight end Dalton Kincaid, arguably one of the top tight ends in a very strong tight end draft. A lot has been made about his back fracture. This is Dr. David Chow, Sports Injury Central, SICscore.com. As we review video in that Colorado game of his back fracture, he lands on his head slash shoulder. The type of fracture he has is likely a small wedge compression fracture or transverse process fracture. Not structural, not dangerous, not related to any nerves, and really no real long-term concern. Look, I get it. A back fracture makes people concerned. But remember, he played the next week in the Pac-12 championship game against USC. He didn't have stellar numbers, four catches for 40 yards, but the fact that he played is significant. There's no way any doctor would clear a player if there was risk of paralysis. And this shows that his small back fracture was not structural, no surgery needed, and thus really no long-term worry. Uh, if this were the case at the draft and the medical combine evaluation, as a team physician, I wouldn't even downgrade him at all for that, given the time period. No real injury risk for Dalton Kincaid. He'll go where teams see him, and it may be as the first pick for a tight end up in the first round, given how good he is in his production. Despite the back fracture, no real medical worries for Dalton Kincaid. This is Dr. David Chow. Go to SICscore.com or subscribe here for the YouTube videos.